We welcome you here at the Technical Forum at the Group Exhibit 200, Group Exhibit Hydrogen and Fuel Cells 213. Please have a seat, have a free drink, and you are really invited to listen to the next presentation from H2 Nitidor from the Technical Director Mario Dragoni. And the presentation deals with renewable energy storage, electrical fluctuation compensation, security and network stability. Give really big hands for Mr. Dragoni. Here we go. Good afternoon. I'm uh, Mario Dragoni. I'm a CTO of uh, H2 Nitidor. And I'd like to introduce in our company. We are an Italian company. And uh, we are uh, in uh, every in high efficiency pressure alkaline electrolyzer. This is our field, and we wanted to use uh, this uh, uh, alkaline electrolyzer in uh, several field. And today is based on Voltiana technology by Casale Chemical. Casale Chemical is a very important company in uh, Switzerland. After some uh, receiving tech in some technical suggestion from Casale uh, Chemical, we provide a loan to make an uh, electrolyzer and uh, to start uh, to in, uh, in uh, renewable energy resource pouring, etc. So, uh, Nitro, like his writing, is a, a company with year and year experience. Really, we started uh, in uh, 1999 to producing uh, electrolyzer, but uh, the new brand now is H2. Uh, is practically we start uh, officially in the 2009. So this is uh, uh, the uh, you show one stack. This stack is a 10 cubic meter production up to 30 bar. The main characteristic is uh, to use. Uh, uh, our electrolyzer in uh, renewable energy because uh, the particular construction inside of a, of a stack ca can help us to are connected directly in photovoltaic or wind uh, generators. So this is, uh, is a basic schema, schema of uh, alkaline electrolyzer and we are uh, in this case, uh, as atmospheric pressure, it naturally is naturally it's a bipolar dispersion, and up to we can produce up to 240 cells per stack, and we can put many stacks in parallel to improve also the capacity. Uh, okay, this is uh, just for looking. It's a PAM technology. If I come back uh, in. Uh, Alkaline, you see KOH is a basic, B practically the membrane is under KOH, is a, in the PEM, is a dry. So, the advantage for uh, alkaline electrolyzer is, uh, is there. First, the most important is uh, technically is uh, mature and uh, renewable because uh, is very old technology, but at the moment is also the most important. And uh, we can uh, make a, in a single stack at a megawatt, megawatt uh, power, electrical power. Also, we can make a compact system and uh, the lifetime is uh, long. Uh, our, the basic project from Casale chemical, uh, our electrolyzer is designed to work for 25 years, but it's uh, too long. And now we are looking to make an uh, electrolyzer to reduce the time life at uh, 15 years, but 15 years is enough for uh, the new market. And so the, the uh, disadvantage is uh, is uh, not easy to change uh, uh, the power very fast, but um, but is enough to fall in the wind generators. 
Actually, the density we can't increase too much. Now uh, we are uh, 4,000 uh, amps per square meter. And uh, we can develop up to 6,000, but not more. If you check the technology uh, about uh, PAM, the advantage is uh, the system is more simple. The BOP is more simple. In our BOP, we have many, many travel to do because we have gas made by stack and also the KOH. And we needed to remove that. It, this is an important point because we increase the number of uh, components in the BOP. So, the, for, for the future PAM, we expect uh, the, um, the potential uh, increasing of uh, power, but not so much. Uh, and, uh, and, but the main advantage is, for example, the uh, PAM uh, are more fast to, to answer uh, at uh, the, uh, the dynamic uh, load. This is a schema about uh, electrolysis Volt Voltiana. Voltiana is a brand of, uh, of um, Casale chemical. Now, we using uh, the Voltiana, we can pressurize it at high with high efficiency uh, up to 30 bar, but we are checking also 40 and 50 bar. But uh, the market now, in this moment, uh, don't ask there, is ask up to 30. The technology um, uh, Voltiana is protected by several uh, patents, and uh, in particular on the catalysis, catalysis uh, component and the structure, metallic, me mechanical structure. So it's, uh, it's uh, easy for us to to fall the, uh, lo the load very quickly and uh, without a big problem. Existing in the market, uh, the electrolyzer realized in Voltiana solution working uh, since uh, mm, 1980, practically more than 30 years back. It was soldered. And uh, in the future, we are looking to uh, but in the very near future, one year, two years, not more, we are looking to decrease the cost, the first, but also to increase increases the pressure up to 60 bar. That uh, because uh, the inquiry for uh, the market is to feel directly the hydrogen in the methane pipeline high pressure. In this case, we need 60 bar because the pipeline working usually are 40, 40 42, up to 45 bar. Also, we can increase uh, efficiency. Uh, that is uh, not easy because our system effic standard efficiency is around 80 percent, but we can make some point more. Then. We, we can uh, uh, increase, uh, increasing also the temperature working. Now we work at 80 degrees, but the next generation we want to work at 100 and more degrees. And also ne we need uh, to increase the type, the quality of uh, the material. For example, the frame, the molder frame, I need to use the new component and uh, very, it's very, in this moment, it's very expensive, but we believe in a few years, in one, two years, the material go down in the price. It will be more cheaper. So, now I want to tell you about uh, energy storage. The economy is P2G, power to gas. With what do we expect? We expect uh, the estimated cost for kilowatt up to 600 euro. Now we are at 1.2 thousand euro. It's practically double. And uh, we can, we think, we believe we can do 
uh, following the new material, the new designer, and the new capacity to buy at low cost some several components. So, regarding the efficiency, we want to go up to 4.4 kilowatt hour per cubic meters production, hydrogen production. Now, standard, our standard is 4.8. So, the technology is, uh, is uh, uh, of course, is um, old, is high, maturity is high. The lifetime now, the system, we expect up to 50,000 hours, up to 160. This is our, we see, work electrolyzer in the market. It's not uh, new, it's uh, actually lifetime. The, the performance we can do up to megawatt class. Now we are involved in several projects and uh, we are uh, ready to solve up to 1.2 megawatt. But uh, the next uh, inquiry, uh, the inquiry, sorry, I receive it for the next uh, generation is to make five megawatt in one solution. Of course, it's repeated here, the working pressure now is 10 to 30. I want 40, but I more like to, uh, to get 60 bar. So this is a schema regarding CO2 uh, methanation. So we are proposing in our boat is uh, you can see the system the, the system uh, to uh, methanation is a reactor to to realize the methanation of CO2. The electrolysis is made by wind is powered by, by wind or sun or other renewable energy. That because it's important to reducing the cost practically near zero about the cost, energy cost, power, electrical power cost. And the CO2, we, have, we can uh, absorb from a biogas plant. This is more easy because uh, biogas typically is 50% uh, is methane and 50% is uh, CO2, more or less. But uh, we also are proposing the market with absorber directly from higher. This is more cheaper. You don't need the energy, just uh, a power from fan. So the two components, hydrogen and CO2, is converted in methane in methanation reactor. Uh, is a sabatier, of course, and we we are proposing the um, ruthenium uh, catalyst uh, catalyst uh, components in order to make more uh, efficiency the system. And uh, with the same way, we can producing. CH4, methane, or also methanol. And uh, these, these two components is uh, ready to use in the market. For example, methane is very usually in the mobility, in the car, in Germany, in Italy, in several countries, is ready to use. Uh, CH, C met, met, uh, methanol, we, you can use also in the car, but it's better to use in thermal energy to heating, for example, heating house, etc. Also, both component, both uh, element you can uh, fill in uh, uh, genset to producing energy, electrical energy. So, in this, uh, in this uh, schema is uh, presented uh, the. Um, the uh, typical answer, the typical power uh, come from a wind generator. You can see sometimes it is not possible to use uh, the, the extra power for grid because uh, the grid is full and uh, can accept more than a one limit. We have indicated this in the grid, in green line. Down green line is the energy available for the user, user and the extra in blue is the energy unused. And uh, normally it's uh, complicated to stop 
the wind generators and uh, we need to use them. And the, our proposal is to use this power to power, electrical power, the electrolyzer. So this is a typical shaver for to producing methanol. We, we get, in this case, CO2 by R and uh, is combined with uh, li ionic liquid and uh, by the pumps is uh, put it in the reactor. In the reactor, we can uh, have the, we can be um, producing uh, one part of uh, methanol and plus one part of CO2 not combined, also both go to separation element is other reactor. The CO2 can run in and fill again in a liquid ionic absorber and uh, we in final we have the methanol. This is a conversion balancing with uh, one ton of CO2 combined with uh, 150 kilograms of hydrogen. You can obtain about 900 liters of methanol. This is more efficiency. For methane, you need 200 kilograms of hydrogen, 20,000 liters to obtain 500 normal kilometer of methane. So, uh, one moment, so, okay. The, uh, some application, we can also storage energy directly and hydrogen. This is more, is better, because uh, we can use directly hydrogen in some several application. In, uh, in this picture, uh, we have indicated one uh, very light mobility. The, uh, um, the roof uh, PV uh, produces electric energy and uh, power our electrolyzer. And uh, by dispenser, we, fill, we refill the, uh, the small tank inside of a bicycle. The tank is uh, here. And uh, the tank is uh, actually is, um, with a metal hydrator. And uh, in the back, in this black uh, uh, frame, is, uh, we have the fuel cell. And in practically, this is a bicycle powered by hydrogen. About um, methane, we are also producing hydromethane. This is one plant uh, I make in Rome. In, uh, in Rome city, and uh, we producing hydrogen, and we mix with methane. They come from uh, normal uh, um, grid, and uh, is mixed to in order to obtain the several different percentual: five, ten, twenty percent, up to thirty percent. And uh, after uh, is used in normal car, methane car. So other application is uh, uh, to storage energy. Uh, we are uh, Nitro are proposing a special uh, a special application for special application is proposing the container size. Inside of container, we have a uh, electrolyzer is a show in the second picture, and uh, also the fuel cell. Up outside the container, we have a storage. The storage we can do in uh, volume, for example, 5 km storage, or also with compressor at high pressure in high pressure cylinder. Now we are involved in a project in Brazil to make uh, this system and to, to realize one uh, st uh, station producing uh, hydrogen with a compressor up to 350 bar and the storage. Uh, the uh, hydrogen in the cylinder up to 350 bar. So this is uh, um, a only picture, but um, we are in building time for make uh, uh, a complete, uh, a complete uh, uh, container size uh, megawatt electrolyzer. 
So we can you can you can see inside the BOP is one BOP just one. Okay, red for uh, hydrogen and white for uh, oxygen, and <coughs> we have four stack of um, of uh, producing uh, for producing hydrogen. Each stack can produce in six uh, sixty sorry sixty normal meter up to twenty five bar. The solution is a very nice solution from our point of view because all equipment we can test in our factory in South Milan. Every piece is tested and also the complete system is tested. We just we can take and put on the truck and transport for placing for the customer. The system we call a plug-in system because it's very easy to connect it at the second part of the, of the installation. For example, methanation, or for example, storage, uh, or for example, dispenser for the filling station. And also in this uh, module, it's easy also to cut the power. In practically, we, in practically, we can stop to work two electrolyzer, two stack, and we can work only with two, other two, or three or four, four, or just one. Of course, it's not convenient to work in just one, but we can do. This is application, one application, PV, megawatt PV, electrolyzer, and storage. With the same, uh, with the same production, megawatt size, we can do we can do in different way using hydrogen. The first you see is uh, we can produce hydrogen and uh, using directly with dispenser to fill car. It's indicated golf car because I don't have other picture. But we can try more than that. Or, or you can use hydrogen in combination with uh, CH4, methane, is for grid. To have HGNG is a natural gas with hydrogen. And uh, you, can ref uh, you can fill the normal car. Also, the hydrogen plus CO2, I showed you before. CO2 obtained by biogas plant or by directly absorbed by air you can obtain methane or methanol and you can use directly. So, this is uh, our approach in uh, storage and uh, renewable energy with uh, electrolyzer, with hydrogen. So, thank you. Thanks a lot, Mr. Doyle. That's your hands here. Sorry, over there. <laughs> Thank you. So you in the audience have now the opportunity just to ask one or two questions. We are a little bit in a hurry because of our timetable. Yes. Please in Italiano because I know you talk in Italiano. Mi chiamo Theodor Holtum. And you start. La mia compagnia è Green Hydrogen Consulting. Voglio domandare. You have said that uh, the stack lifetime is 50,000 hours. I think that's around six years approximately. And system lifetime, 170,000 hours. So that's obviously a lot longer. Uh, elsewhere in your talk, you said uh, lifetime, 15 to 25 years. So th presumably this is the yeah. system lifetime. Yeah, this I, is. This I, I would like to ask, so, so to confirm, um, if the stack lifetime is more like six years, so what kind of uh, maintenance or service is required during the lifetime of, uh, of the electrolyzer? Thank you. Okay. The first, uh, uh, when I see 25 hours, uh, this is the original project uh, from Casale Chemical. Okay. And uh, uh, existing more, existing several uh, electrolyzer in the market working more than 25 years. And we get this uh, technology. 
and because we use the patent from Casale Chemical for producing the electrolyzer. So, um, of course, uh, we need to make uh, maintenance every year or every two years or every six months, depending on the application, to, in order to warranty the lifetime. But we normally, in, um, I observe uh, every, uh, to make, uh, if you make uh, maintenance, ordinary maintenance, one time for years, the lifetime is more than 10 years. This is our spe direct experience. I can tell you more than 10 because our company is born 1999. It's only 15 years. And, uh, what, warranty is, what warranty is standard? What? How, how long is the warranty, the guarantee? Uh, well, the yeah, okay. We normally we warranty the, our equipment 12 months. This is uh, for general warranty. But we can, uh, with extra cost, of course, warranty two, three, four, five, up to five years. Okay, but it's, of course it's extra cost because the standard is 12 years, yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Mr. Dragoni. It's your big hand here again. So if there are thank any questions left or you like to discuss with Mr. Dragoni, his booth here on the group exhibit hydrogen and fuel cells is on B51. You can visit here um, all over the week. So please have a seat. We will go on very quickly with our next presentation by Gina with the topic high efficiency electrolyzers. Thank you very much. <laughs>